Hi everyone, welcome to Misha Designs where I share refashion and sewing tips and tricks with you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and like those videos. For this video, I want to share with you guys how to DIY your own bustier pattern. I think that I can give it a revamp, I can revise it, I can, you know, spice it up, I can make it a little easier because you know on my channel, I love sharing with you guys tips and tricks to make things easier to be able to execute the look that you want. So let's go. Now in a lot of the tape method videos, you would see they are using the body form to place their tape and do all the necessaries to create the pattern. But in this video, I want to show you guys how you can use yourself to create that same pattern using that same tape method. Because let's be honest, not everyone has a body form to their disposal to create the pattern. So let's run through what you're going to need and I'm also going to give you all some nice little tips so it can help you easily execute the pattern. You're going to want to get your hands on some tape, duct tape, masking tape, whichever one. It'll be just fine. Uh, my tip when it comes to the tape would really be to get it as wide as possible. So the wider the tape, the better it's going to be for the project. Now, why I say that is because you're going to be covering, I don't know, a good bit of area on yourself. <laughs> and the wider the tape is, the quicker the process is going to be. So you always want to make things a little easier for yourself and a little quicker, you know, so that you don't get frustrated and lose interest. So the wider the tape, the better for this particular project. Now, this one is more of a recommendation than a tip. I would recommend using the masking tape because it is easier to remove when it's time for you to remove the piece when you have completed marking on it. All right. Now, I'm not saying don't use duct tape. You can go right ahead and use duct tape, but I just find it's just easier to remove the masking tape than the duct tape when time comes to, you know, remove it. So that's just a recommendation. It's not a tip. It's not a short sure thing you have to do. But if you have duct tape to your disposal, you don't need to go buy tape because you have this home handy, then go ahead and use it. Just remember when it's time to remove it from off the areas, you want to take your time and remove it so that you don't, um, you know, damage the pattern you've created. The next thing you want to get is a marker. Now it could be Sharpie, permanent, whiteboard. Once you are able to see the markings you created on your tape, that is all that matters. Get yourself a good marker that you can identify your markings with at the end. All right. Lastly, you want to wear something very form fitting. So that's why I'm wearing one of my bralettes and a leggings for this project. If you wear loose clothes, you're gonna have extra fabric. Extra fabric is going to throw off your markings, it's gonna throw off your fit, and it's gonna be all over the place, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't like this tape method, I didn't get a nice fit. So, <laughs> wear something very form-fitting. Anything that is form-fitting, and covering you know the area proper so that you don't really get too much of that stickiness onto your skin from the tape and you also don't get much tape on your skin you know for it to hurt when it's time to go off all right so that's it tape the tips that go along with the tape marker and form fitting clothing with all that we can get started so let's go 
you want to start applying the tape from your center front vertically and also start on your upper bust line and go all the way down to your waist to give yourself extra room. Every time you apply a piece of tape, overlap it on the piece before it. Keep doing this until you reach your side seam, which is your underarm line. Now, you're going to need some help with getting the tape to layer proper under your arm and also getting it to your back center. Once that is complete, do a last layer going horizontally to secure your tape and to ensure it doesn't come apart when removing. Before you mark, really make sure the tape contours to your bust shape. This is to ensure you have the shape needed for your bust. Let's start marking. First, draw your underarm line. This is your side seam. Then, your upper and under bust lines, which would be curved in shape. Find your nipple and draw a line downward. This is like a dot line. Draw another line just where your bust crease ends. It's the best way I can explain it. And draw another line. Go down about quarter inch from your upper bust line and draw another line. It's okay if your lines are a bit crooked. You can always neaten it up when you remove it. Now go ahead and take your time and remove the tape. I'm just neatening up all my lines before I start cutting. First, let's remove the upper bust area. Then, the rest of the bust. Cut that center line you created. I forgot to put notches to help me identify where to connect my pieces, so go ahead and do that for all pieces. This will help make life so much easier later down. Also, label all your pieces so you know which one goes where. Take your pieces, place them on your paper. I'm using a large sketch pad paper and trace out your pieces about half an inch to an inch away for allowance. Make sure to transfer all notches and labelings. Don't be afraid to make notes on your pieces if you have to. For example, I made a note reminding me to turn my pieces when cutting for my left side.
Once that's done, cut out your pieces and that's it. You have all pieces needed to create your bustier when it's time for creating. I hope you guys found this video helpful and feel free to comment and let me know below and until next time guys deuces